Okay, now we are in part two. So let's take a look at some problem related to problematic analysis. Okay, in practice number one, the question is nickel content in the steel road can be measured by conducting precipitation. Dimetal gaussian was used to precipitate the red DMT nickel complex. If 1.3484 gram of steel KF0.2375 gram precipitate, calculate the percent nickel in the steel. So in our first part, we know that DMG okay, is an organic precipitant that can be used to precipitate nickel iron to form the complex. So if you can imagine, so first you dissolve uh, the steel in a solution and then you add DMG, okay, which is precipitant. Okay, after a while, you will get the complex in the red color. Okay, so you can get the precipitate by filtering the solution and then dry and awake the precipitate. So in this case, you will get 0.2375 gram of precipitate. In order to solve the problem, we need to first write the balanced chemical equation for the precipitation process. So here we need two mole of dimethyl glyosine react with one mole of nickel iron to produce one mole of precipitates. Here we know the amount of precipitate which is 0 0.2375 gram. So what you need to find is the mass of nickel needed to precipitate that amount. So before we solve the problem, we need to convert the mass into mole because we need to use the stoichiometric equation. So here, the mole of the precipitate equal to the mass of precipitate divided by the molar mass of the precipitates. You can cancel out the gram, so you get the mole of the precipitate. So based on the stoichiometric equation, we know that one mole of precipitate equivalent to one mole of nickel iron. So if you have the 0 0.000822 mole of the precipitate, we also need the same amount of mole for the nickel iron. So you need to convert back the mole into mass. Okay, so here is the formula. So the mass of nickel iron equals to the mole from here times the molar mass of the nickel iron. So cancel out the mole, you will get the mass for the nickel iron. So based on the question, you need to calculate the percent nickel in the steel. So using this formula, we know that uh, the analyte here is the nickel iron and the sample is steel. So we know the amount here is from our calculation. The here is from the question. You will get the percent of Nickel in the steel in mass. Okay, the other way to solve the problem is by using equation number four. You can find this equation in part one in my slide. Okay, so we know the gram of precipitate, we know the gram sample, a mass of sample. So what we don't know is the gravimetric factor. Okay, what is the gravimetric factor? So here is the formula. Okay, so imagine you have one complex, one more nickel EMG precipitate, eh? one more precipitate. So, you look at here, you have 
one more nickel in one more precipitate. So the factor is one more nickel in one more precipitate. Okay, however, the gravimetric factor definition is the mass. Okay, is the mass of analyte divided by mass of precipitate. This means you need to convert the mole into mass here. So that's why you need to times the molecular weight or molar mass of each compound. So here you can put one mole of nickel iron you have one mole in one mole complex or precipitate at times each of the each of the because you can set out the mole okay each of the molar mass and then times the precipitate and then divide by the mass of samples times 100 you can directly get the percent nickel in sample or instead in weight percent or in mass.